Today I'll show you how to edit and animate the red border effects used in these two Sunny V2 clips. How did Jelly lose 92% of his audience in only two years? Did the content instead look at older data? We can see that the average sales per store has barely changed since 2006, which is about the point where the dine-in model died. Import your images into Premiere Pro, then highlight them and replace with After Effects composition. To make this border animated, all you have to do is add a roughen edges effect onto the layer. Change the edge type to roughen color and color to red. Then play around with the different sub effects like border, edge sharpness, etc. until you get one you like. Then toggle a keyframe for evolution, move to the end of the timeline and increase the evolution value. Play around with these values until you're happy with it. Next change the rectangle tool to the eclipse tool and hold down shift as you draw to get a perfect circle. Duplicate the circle so you have one on each end. Then use the pen tool and trace over the graph. You can then add trim paths to the two circles and the line to animate it. Set a keyframe at the start of each animation under the end option and set it to 0%. Then set the next keyframe to 100% where you want the animation to finish. Now you can pre-compose all these layers into one nested clip. Toggle the 3D view for both layers and add a new camera. You can then animate these layers using 3D space. Since I already covered a bit of 3D camera animation in the last moon video, I'll just focus on the red border effects in this one. Next we'll animate a red border around this Pizza Hut graph. First you draw the border with the pen tool, hold shift to keep the line straight and play around with the stroke size and color. Then you can add a drop shadow to this layer similar to Sunny V2's. Then add trim paths. Now you can animate it in the same way as the first one I showed you. So set the first keyframe at 0% and the second keyframe at 100%. You can then pre-compose these layers. From here you can animate this using the 3D camera. If you find that you don't have enough white space behind it you can create a white solid layer to go underneath. Thanks for watching, see you next time.